Cap round belts. This is exactly how you get them. All right, guys, here we are, elite. We just crushed chest, which we'll post here. Now we're on some shoulders. So as you know, starting with reverse pack deck, sets of 30, 25, 20, and then the last set that we get on camera here. I did as many as I could, then pull apart for 20, then back, drop, the, drop from 145 to 100, and do as many as I can. Every one of those I'm trying to really crush and fully shorten my rear delt. So what we want to think about here is so many people are missing rear delts and they don't have that muscle jumping off the back side of their arm. So that's why I always start there. That's something that John always banged into my head, right? Chris, massive rear delts, massive rear delts, massive rear delts. If they're crazy developed, you can see them in all your side shots and even in your back shots, those rear delts will pop and shine and people's eyes will be drawn to them. My lats are one of my weakest body parts. But every time I post a back shot, you're like, man, look at those delts. <laughs> it's because I do shit loads of rear laterals, reverse pec deck, and band pull aparts. So take these serious, bang them hard, fight that burn, and give me four rounds of this superset to start the workout out. Next up, dumbbell side laterals. I did two sets of 15, work out my way to 35s, and then I did a triple drop there. 35s to failure, 25s plus some partials. 15 plus some partials. One working round of that and I'm done. All right, this is where the pump starts to get stupid. Two rounds of bent over rear laterals with partial rear laterals. So I'll do as many perfect form rear laterals as I can and then I immediately switch into palm facing neutral and then just go partials until it just, I can't take the burn anymore. From there, it's right over to this body master side lateral piece and I'm just doing bottom half partials here for sets of 20. Two rounds of that and I'm telling you, my shoulders went to a next level of pump. rotations of the day here. Y raise to get a little bit of front delt and more side. Super set it with spider cross for three passes. So with the Y raise, I was going anywhere between 15 and 20 reps per set. And then with the, with the spider cross, I was doing three passes up and down. And man, I'm telling you, there's nothing like finishing shoulders in my opinion with those spider cross. It burns like crazy. It's preventive in terms of keeping my shoulders healthy. And then the pump and burn is just wild. So it really tests your pain tolerance there. So, Two rounds of that rotation and my shoulders are done. So there you have it guys, full on shoulder workout. And I'm telling you, <laughs> you gotta fight that burn on shoulders. If you want a big round, nasty and capped, this is what it takes. Higher reps, 
fast paced. I didn't take more than a minute rest between any exercise or superset that I did today. Because the grand scheme of life is I gotta move at a fast pace, put as much blood in there as possible, and that's how my shoulders grow. I really challenge you to try that at home. It isn't all about heavy clang and bang, how much military press you can do. If that works for you, great, keep at it, ignore me. But if that's not working for you, give this style a try. I'd be willing to bet you you'll see more shoulder growth in a year than you will the other way. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Curve and Stevie.